EXO Rally Championship might be racing its way across the stars, but it's already raced its way into my heart. Uh? Anyways, if you're not aware, I've got something of a history with the real-time strategy genre. And funnily enough, at labs like DeepMind, those same RTS games just so happen to be a valuable testing ground for world-leading AI research. Hmm, curious. Can it be just a coincidence, then, that I'd end up the kind of man to name himself an AI visionary? Well, I mean, probably. But what's no coincidence is my excitement for the eagerly anticipated RTS from former Warcraft and Starcraft devs at Frost Giant Studios. It's Stormgate, and today we don't just get the chance to get some exclusive first look at some Stormgate gameplay, but we're also joined by Frost Giant's president and game director, Tim Campbell, here to tell us exactly how Stormgate will delight all minds artificial or otherwise. Thanks so much for joining us, Tim. Thanks, it's great to be here. Now, I've been following Stormgate for years, but for those of us who haven't, what is Stormgate? Stormgate is our modern take on the classic real-time strategy game formula. It's what we think of as a spiritual successor to franchises like Warcraft, Starcraft, Command and & Conquer. And real-time strategy games are, are the type of game where you can control an entire battlefield. So this classic RTS formula includes harvesting resources, building sprawling bases, oh. commanding huge armies on the battlefield. What is it about Stormgate that's new? We believe that the RTS genre is something that should be enjoyed by players of all skill levels. And so we put a lot of effort into making sure that Stormgate feels good, whether you're a pro with high technical skill and you love competitive play, or whether it's something that you just wanna be able to relax with and experience a story. Now, Tim, I understand that you brought for all of us, but in particular for me, a present to show today. What are you gonna show, Tim? We are gonna show gameplay from the pre-alpha of Stormgate. Yeah. Now this is something that we are big believers in at Frost Giant. We wanna share this current state of the game today. Let's take a look. Oh, Tim, I'm so excited. And right away, this looks like an RTS. Tell me what we're seeing. This is the classic start to a 1v1 match. What you're seeing here is the human faction as they're sending workers out to harvest resources. Right. They're starting to construct buildings. They actually build them by 3D printing them from the ground up. <laughs> That's and awesome. you can see them now starting to train troops so they can have an army that goes out in the field to fight. Yeah, and I mean, right here, we see in the corner coming up, this is, this looks like a scout unit? Yeah, that is literally a cybernetic dog with laser eyes. It is called the scout, okay? <laughs> it's designed for early game. It's a unique unit to the human faction. Right. And you can see him now running through the base trying to see what information he can find out about his enemy. Yeah, I mean, scouting and information is such an important part of RTS games. It really is, and this is something that we've embraced early game. The scout unit has been designed so it can actually sense units beyond its sight radius. So oh, it's, a, it's awesome. a, especially useful early on. So we're heading into what looks like the first engagement of this game. What are we seeing? Well, what we're seeing right here is the Red Scout getting surprised by a group of blue troops coming through the Light Force, which is the new train type and the twist on, on the tactical battlefield here. And how do these Light Force work? The Light Force lets smaller units move through them. They have concealment. Ah. It's allowed blue to raid Red's base, in which case Red is barely getting uh, a turret built with their speed building from their workers, which is another a human faction advantage. And they're about to pop out a couple extra defenders here from their mech base. So we got these huge mechs, and I mean, just visually, it looks like they are countering the heck out of these blue infantry, but can these red mechs fit through the force? No, they're too big to go through. They're heavy units. They're designed to use their chain guns ah. to go through groups of enemies, but they can't fit through the light force, which blue knew and used to his advantage. Okay, so we're in mid-game. This is normally where you make some big tech decisions. What's red up to? You're seeing red commit to a tech path that gives them big battlefield mechs and air units like this evac. And it looks like they're just dropping right on top of blue who is killing a, a chicken? What's the chicken there, yeah. Tim? Yeah, that's a giant chicken with a Viking helmet on it. Uh, use your imagination. Stormgate's in pre-alpha, and that's art that we haven't gotten to yet, but imagine <laughs> it as a big Mad Max Raider. Ice, right, the most threatening placeholder art for now. And oh, I see red diving onto blue, and hey, picking back up into the air transport. That's some classic high-level micro. It is, and it's really important for Stormgate that we maintain a high skill ceiling so that players can express themselves on the battlefield by maneuvering right. and how they interact with the battlefield. And here we have the final fight of the game, and it looks like blue is coming up against those mechs. Red is trapped on the other side of the trees. Oh, wait, they can blast through them now? And Blue's dodging these enormous shots, and we can also see Blue swarming in from both sides. This is not looking good for Red. Tim. No, it's pretty grim. Red, Red is on the ropes right here, and they've been outmaneuvered. They're caught in the corner here between two different forces coming in with a yeah. mobile pincer. Man, and of course... There's the GG's. The most classic ending to an RTS game, GG. 
get Tastosis on that stat. Outside of 1v1, what's coming up for Stormgate? What you've seen today is just the tip of the iceberg. We have so much more in store. We're gonna be revealing a bunch of stuff about Stormgate the rest of this year. We're introducing new modes. We have a three-player versus AI cooperative mode. We have team-based competitive modes. We're gonna be sharing information about our storyline and campaign. Uh, we have new factions beyond the humans that you just saw today. But Tim, what if I wanna play the game right now? If you want to play the game as soon as possible, you wish list Stormgate on Steam and you go to playstormgate.com to sign up for the beta. We're starting closed testing in July. Once again, go to Steam and wish list Stormgate. Tim, thank you so much again for joining us, not just to talk about the 1v1 footage you shared, but the future content plans of Stormgate. It makes the RTS players' dreams come true which might not be your dreams. I mean, your dreams might be filled with gloriously grimy Deus Ex-inspired sci-fi fisticuffs with a fiendishly Star Wars vibe to it. If so, get a load of this latest trailer for Fortune's Run.